Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, I got something. You got you got Yo. anything for this one? I, I thought you said you might have something. Or were you joking? Do I have something for this one? No, I <laughs> okay. really don't. No, All no, right. No. So the other day, I got a hankering to watch Pulp Fiction. I love that movie. One of, one of my faves. Top so, top ten for so sure. So it uh. It doesn't really hold up over time very well. It's very, it's a different time sort of movie. They're dropping words that aren't really <laughs> pop culture friendly now. It may be frowned upon. But today. that's not what I wanted to discuss. Okay. I re- do you remember in nice. the scene where John Travolta takes Uma Thurman out to eat and they go to the they go to the um like old school diner with Buddy Holly and Marilyn Monroe and all that? Do you yeah, remember? and they do the mashed potato yeah. and old yeah. folks. Where yes, else? Okay. they do the dance contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember? She she's ordering and she goes, I want this, whatever the hell it is, the, the James Dean burger, whatever. Yeah, and she goes, yeah, yeah. and I would like a five dollar shake. Yeah. And he goes, a five dollar shake. That's just milk and ice cream, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's five dollars. That's how much. Do you think are. you could find any milkshake for five dollars today? Absolutely not. And that movie was made in nineteen ninety four. In 1994, years a $5 ago. milkshake was was like a $20 cheeseburger. It was ridiculous. It yeah. was like, are you kidding me? And a $20 cheeseburger? Welcome to 2023. Right, exactly, bro. 1895. Yeah. Easy everywhere you go. Yep, and that's without fries. You want a la carte fries? $9. $27. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I don't know what restaurant you're coming to. If my cheeseburger don't come with fries, I'm not eating there. All right? <laughs> I'm going to those places. You're like, does it come with fries? They're like, it comes with chips. You're like, <laughs> stand up, tip the table over, leave. <laughs> that is crazy, though. That's That's very funny that you should bring that up. Yeah, when you go back to any anything like uh, old like that, you you see a lot of differences from from what's happening today. I just think movies that were made before the internet was a thing yeah. just have a totally different vibe. And movies before the internet existed, or before the internet, I'd say. 2000 probably was like because even in like the late 90s the internet was picking up but it didn't like facebook wasn't even a thing yet myspace wasn't a thing yet i think that you are right and i think that's because the writing had to evolve with the times um movies that were done in in certain eras they don't deal with cell phones because cell phones is a thing now. If you're like, where's the cell phone? They still don't even have cell phones in movies, really. Not very much, but yeah, but they have to, if, the, if you're a good movie, you address it at least. Well, you right. address it. And that's the problem I think I have with a lot of movies anymore is you're just like, why don't you just Google it? <laughs> And it, it, look, in a lot of the good, the better movies, it. the better <laughs> movies, they do address that. Megan, one of the premier movies, horror movies of 2023, <laughs> they address that. I think it was so, 2022. 2020. Was it 23? Oh, it was February or something. It was, yeah, it was this year. Taken this year. with, he's like, I don't remember what he said. <laughs> 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 he was like, I was ready for you to quote. You the got line. my You're daughter. Like, I don't remember. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie too. Yeah, that's but like, movie. I don't. But I saw. That, I was like, man, five dollar milkshakes, and I was like, yeah. damn, dude, I, I want a five dollar shake. That's no. quality. So how are how up are you on your memetry? I guess it depends on what. Are you familiar with the McDonald's Grimace shake that is out right now? I feel like I've seen a meme about it, but I yeah. I couldn't tell you what it is right now. What what is the so the McDonald's released a uh, I think it's like it's an anniversary of some of some sort for them. Um, and they released a Grimace shake, um, and it's a purple milkshake. And people started posting TikToks about how the if you drink the shake, you end up dead in like the next scene. It's become like <laughs> so, like the ring. <laughs> yeah. So it's like people will make a TikTok where they're like. Well, it can't be that bad. And it'll show them drinking a shake, and then it'll show them in like various positions of how they die with like purple foam coming out of their mouths. And some of them are like really well done, like horror, like stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it's just kind of unlocking what I cheeky. like to say. Um, what? It's cheeky. Yeah, and I like to think that it's unlocking creativity. Honestly, we're looking like I, I feel like on the entertainment side. Like, we're looking at some of the future of, like, entertainment in this, in this country. And honestly, it's been a little lackluster over the last... James Cameron has even fallen out of favor. Look, at least the future's looking bright with some of these uh, these talented uh, kids that are doing this work. 
But it's just, it's, it's very funny that you bring up milkshakes because milkshakes can kill you. We should make a TikTok. Do it. Let's, let's do it, Joe. You, you, drink. you do all the work and no. you need me to be in it, I'll do it. I will definitely record you drinking a shake and dying. Are you going to stab me? I'm, why would I stab you? It, I don't care. Because you drink a milkshake kills. and then it makes your friend homicidal and they murder you. Is that what the joke no, is? Oh, the shake kills you. <laughs> like the shake has a knife and stabs me? <laughs> Joe, you can't. No, the shake kills you. I don't kill. I don't know if we can make like a. I'll be grimace. <laughs> I want to see you in like a purple suit. I would. I'll dress up in like a purple body. You should, you should be, like, purple be like, be like, be like, be like, <laughs> going purple face. <laughs> going purple face, dude. Just like you should purple. just wear, get like a purple velour suit and just wear it out. Oh, a little, like, a, like a nice little like hat too. Like just yeah. pimping, dude. Just a little beanie, royal top. purple suit. I'm grimace, mother fudger. Yeah, right? Just, yeah. Just be like... I would do that. Be like, sup, bitch? Grimace. <laughs> you want fries with that? <laughs> you want fries with that? <laughs> Spit up. Just go around sipping a shake with a cane. <laughs> <laughs> Put the shake in the tip of the cane and just drink out of that. Get into an er old all-purple Cadillac. I could not get that out. That, that was... <laughs> Oh, er, oh. Oh, er, oh, er, purple? Purple. Uh, bur 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 a purple, purple? No, that that's very funny. I would definitely do that. I would do a, a grimace and uh, you die from my shake. Uh, you do the Harlem shake and I die. I'm not doing the Harlem shake. <laughs> when, when, when was that? A don't thing? ask me to shake anything. <laughs> what the hell? What's a Harlem shake? This, like 2013? <laughs> oh, that was a long time ago. And, that, and look. Oh, there's some controversy with the Harlem Shake. Really? I what? have to give it to you. Yeah, I want to hear it. Harlem Shake was like P, P. Diddy era. like Yeah, uh, that was like 2016-ish, I think. Yeah, and that was big like New York rap. That was like, you know, the Locks, uh, DMX, um, Nas was out of there. That was big Pete, Puff Daddy, Biggie. That was New York was running rap. The Harlem Shake was a dance. That was, it kind of looked like you were having a seizure and it was kind of lame. And then 20 years later, it was appropriated and turned into you just like in a Spider-Man costume, humping your friend on a couch. After. Like, it's just like everyone's sitting there and all of a sudden it's just like everybody's yeah. doing something weird. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it was fine. It was fine. It was like, let it rock. Cause it was funny, but it, it there's some controversy with the Harlem shake. I, I put it out. There. So. I will tell you something else that about it. Like a, so, the uh, Soldier Boy, uh, the, <laughs> yes. the, the the Superman <laughs> respect King Soldier. Oh yeah, Never. what was the name of that? So, crank that right. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so when Classic. I worked, I had a job in a call center back then, and every month we'd have like a stupid team meeting and like whatever. So I don't know who got the brilliant idea. One of the employees got. Told, convinced all the supervisors and the manager that they should do the that they should do the the crank that dance yes in, in the in the meeting yes and they, and they all did it they, yes. they did it because it was like a it was a talent show or oh something oh my god was and it none awful? of and none of them knew like anything about it until like later and then they were like oh i didn't realize what we were doing. What were they doing? They just did the dance, but like they didn't know the song where they're talking about like Superman and that hoe. Like the. <laughs> what is that? Is that bad? Yeah. You can't say that? No, you can't. <laughs> so was it like a negatively received type of performance? No, no. Everyone thought it was funny and then they I felt. thought it was a and then they felt embarrassed. Oh, well, come on! I feel, honestly, I feel like if the if the if the room accepts it, every if I get applause, I walk off pride, whatever. Yeah. I've done. I've done. We've done shows before where it's like we said some stuff that might not have been said, and it still went off great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess like because back then they used to say it was like. I don't know. I don't think this was really the meaning that it was like when you like when you uh, finish on somebody's back and put a and put a blanket on it and then it becomes they wear it's like they're wearing a cape. Is that what Supermaning a hoe is? That's what people used to say that it, I don't think that's what it meant. 
but it was like it was like one you know like the alligator f house and like the like the trojan war helmet and like the oh my god i didn't know that's what it was i don't think that's i don't think that's exactly what he meant it to be but like that was it was it said like when you when you go on a girl's back and put a sheet on it and then when it dries in the morning and she stands up she looks like superman bro that see <laughs> <laughs> and then they, that is, you know, and that is honestly, that's the beautiful, that's the beauty of the difference in language between different cultures in the same country. All American, different cultures in the same country. Superman in that hoe, I thought it was just like an allegory for like, oh yeah, you do the Superman in that hoe, you know, Superman in that hoe. Yeah, yeah, like like, like you're from in the behind. building. The hoe is the building. Oh, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in this hole right now. Okay, I got you. <laughs> but no, again, that's the uh, maybe it's a him F and a B, but that's that. Well, I, and I don't even know if that's B. true, but it got around to them that that's what it meant, okay, and they were not happy that they were doing that and yeah, that yeah. somebody convinced them to do it. Really? And, I mean, did they get fired? No, nobody got fired. Did they win the contest? I don't remember. No. Probably. Oh, see, if they won the contest, that's even better, man. I'm always big out. I'm always out for big art, man. <laughs> Yo, he's down for big art. <laughs> yeah, I, I support. I the love, creators. man. I you know what? Creators. I always say there's no, there's not a wrong way to art. If you're putting effort into creativity, even if it's garbage, I respect it. Jonas, we are doing art right now. I, I think this is art. This is my creative outlet, bro. This is our creation. Yeah, like I, I don't have any other creative outlet right now. Exactly. This is it. Me talking. This, this is it, man. This is what we we've, we've created, and it's important. Oh, well. Anyways, go Superman a hoe. Not gonna Superman a hoe. No. <laughs> anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Yep.